Hey guys, who's ready to play some video uh, games? Sir, 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 sir. All right, and now it's time for some game show games. Hey everybody, welcome to the Video Chat Game Show. I'm Brad and I'll be hosting with Brian. Hey Brian, how you doing today? I'm doing so good. I'm so excited for this. We've had lots of people asking us uh, how to play uh, some of our games over Zoom and other uh, video chat uh, video chat game shows, if you will. So we thought we'd yep. get together and just kind of show them some stuff real quick. So, um, this is Brian, if you were going to explain to somebody real quick and easy how to play a crowd control game on Zoom, what would you tell them? Yeah. Now, the first question I get is, can you? And the answer is yes, you can play our games over Zoom. And so all you need to do is obviously have a Zoom call going. And when you're, all you're going to do is you're going to be sharing your screen. And uh, Brad, I think we can just show them right now exactly how to how you share your screen. Okay, so if I just go down here and just launch the Great Emoji Race, you can see I've got my little window down here. I've got it in windowed mode, and I shrunk it down to just this size, and you'll know why in just a second. When I click on the share button, uh, usually we're here in the basic mode. You can share your desktop, or you can do whiteboard, or uh, just the screen. If I click on that, it will show it, but uh, sometimes it's not the exact same shape. I'm going to show this little trick. If you click on advanced right here, you can click just a portion of the screen. So then I can go over here and I can just squeeze that in to just grab the parts of the screen that I want. So that's a great that way great. to share your screen and keep it relatively small. So now I've got, it's, it's a great use of space and, it's, and it still all works. One of the reasons we like this game is because we want everyone to stay involved. And when you're uh, doing it, you know, uh, in different rooms, different locations, you can't have buzzers. It's difficult to have that one-on-one. -on -one. But with this game, it uses cell phones. So Brian, if you just pop out your cell phone. Yeah. Mine's invisible. I have an invisible what? cell phone. And very impressive. Uh, so at this point, you would say, okay, here's what we're going to do for this game. Uh, type in the number right now, and you can put your own cell phone number in there. If this is a small group, if it's a bigger group, you might want to use like Google Voice or something and get like a fake burner burner number if you want. You call them burner numbers, Brian? I think right so. Name? I don't, yeah. I don't have one. Oh, yeah, there you go. If you, if you had one, though. Yeah. So you uh, give them your actual cell number. And then uh, once they okay, okay, oh, yeah, Brian, you ready? We're going to race to see who can text them the fastest. So you type in the number, and when you're ready to go, you just hit start game. Oh, then whenever man. they see those emojis, Brian will quickly start trying to text me. So once they type those in and send to you, you're going to have the answers right here on your uh, on your phone. And what I like to do is then actually call those people back. If it's a really big room where you have all everyone's on mute, you can then do a little uh, you know interview one-on-one -on -one interview with them real quick. Hey, what's your name? What are you doing? What, what have you guys been up to? And then um, move on to the next game. So you can just play that game a couple of times. But what we like to do is use this to get your contestants for the actual game you're going to be playing which is kind of fun. So you can play this like three rounds, get three contestants. And so, okay, now we have our three contestants. Let's play our first game. And then as far as this game goes, we have an intro loop to play some music. That means hey. so I, I would start the game. It would show those emojis. And as soon as I get that texted in, Brian would hit send. Did you hit send? And then uh, whoever the first ones we can see. Show. Hey, we have a winner. All right, congratulations. So that's the great emoji race, really fun, really easy, a great way to get lots of people connected over uh, distance.